everybody and just wanted to I don't know what I'm saying here I just woke up I uh, actually I've been up it's right now seven o'clock and I've been up since 5 30 my husband got up early for work and I just couldn't fall back asleep so I just laid in bed for a little bit longer and then just decided to start my day earlier uh, get some reading in and do a couple of things that I want to do um, my breakfast I just kept it simple uh, I don't, I'm not really into like huge breakfast in the morning. As you can tell, I always have just like eggs and oatmeal. Super simple. That's it with like coffee. Um, but I'm about to do some reading. I actually, I had just finished my book from uh, Mark Manson. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a... And it was actually like a really amazing book. Very good eye opener. I'd actually only read like a few pages, uh, like maybe like a month ago. And this last weekend I went to First Form Summer Smash. So I read almost half the book on the way there and then we had gone to Florida after Summer Smash Weekend. So um, like literally right as we're landing back into Austin from Florida, I finished the book. And what an amazing time to like read that book and finish it because Summer Smash, just having like um, Andy talk and like having all of my other friends and people there that I know and meeting two of my clients, like it was such an amazing weekend. And also Tim Grover talked at the Summer Smash event, which was really cool because um, if you don't know him, he is the coach of Michael Jordan and Kobe and like all these other athletes and he shared his story and it was just like absolutely amazing. And a week prior to Summer Smash, I think it was about a week, Andy Frisella posted his book and I had been meaning to buy his book, Tim, Gro Tim Grover's book for like two, three months now, but I just hadn't bought it yet. So finally, before we went to Summer Smash, I was like, uh, Cody, I was like, let's please just let me buy this book. You can get a book to like, you know, whatever. So I bought the book. It was on its way to the house when we were actually still like in Florida and stuff. So I was like, cool, I'll have a book to read when I get home. But what's cool is Tim Grover spoke at Summer Smash and I was like, I had no idea. So that was kind of like, I feel like Andy's way of like getting the information out there to us, but not really telling us. So I'm really excited. Um, just a very good motivating weekend uh got to reprioritize my thoughts ideas things i want to do and i have a lot of ideas but going to wait to see how it all pans out and just give it time so um if you don't know the book i'm about to start to read this book relentless which is by tim grover so this is an amazing book the other one i don't know if it's over here uh my friend actually let me borrow it and it's i don't know if it's supposed to have a cover but this is the book like you have to read that it's amazing so um another thing that i kind of want to start doing too is at summer smash they always do like um like backpacks or duffel bags or something like full of product uh gear so like pretty much when you buy your ticket that money is going towards you again so like you just get like a lot of cool shit um one of the things that was in there was a journal and all this texture are people's last names that attended Summer Smash. And I think that's absolutely amazing. Like, this company is so thoughtful and thinks of, like, anything that you don't think about. Like, they think about those things. And then you get in, you're like, holy crap, like, that's the coolest idea ever. And my name is right below the M down here. It's, um, the whole thing is, like, in alphabetical order. So it starts from A at the top, Z to the bottom. Um, but, yeah, I'm, like super excited about this journal let me show you the inside so let me find my name right here I don't even think it'll zoom in yeah right there so um, there's tons of pages full of pages to put my ideas and thoughts down um, and my goal is to like use this to put something positive and each page is like a day of everything I'm doing and like good things so that I can keep myself on track. I also didn't really record a lot at Summer Smash. I really just wanted to enjoy the moment. I brought my camera everywhere I went and I didn't even film anything. So um, I did film a workout. So I'm going to make another video with my workouts. Probably going to be posted by the time this video is posted. So look back at it. But I'll add some clips in from Summer Smash on this video. A couple other things I planned today is I gotta finish up some errands. It's my last day off before I go back to work tomorrow. And I'm going to go to the design studio because my husband and I are selling our house. And we are buying a new house. So we get to go design the house and like choose the flooring and carpets and like tiles and everything like that. So 
Um, I need to go find a storage unit to get some boxes put away so we can take pictures, list the house, sell it. Um, then we're going to go to the design studio at like 10 o'clock and a bunch of other fun stuff today. So I will bring you around with me. <laughs> studio I had so much fun and there's only one time that my husband and I were like fighting over a certain style but we worked through it and I'm so excited to move into our new house so that'll be ready in like November I think but um yeah so we're about to be listing our house this next week we have some tile to get done in our bathroom and then go from there so right now I'm editing some video for YouTube uh, it's a workout video that I mentioned earlier that I'll be having up from St. Louis and then I'm about to eat some lunch because I have not eaten like seriously all day but you know don't judge me yes okay I am oh shit what the I think my pizza just fell out of the fridge <laughs> oh I knew that was gonna happen all right let's see if I can get this back in here I know I didn't eat all of it though there's like half still <laughs> anyway oh shit okay let's try this again I'm here to eat a snack I'm like off my game right now because the pizza fell but anyways I'm making a snack and I want to share with you guys because it's super easy if you're ever feeling like you have a sweet tooth and you want something sweet but you don't want to eat anything bad you know I'm obviously now trying to do good because I had pizza earlier, but no regrets. I don't have any regrets actually. Regrets. I actually don't have any regrets about the pizza, but you know, I'm trying to still do pretty good. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy snack that is high in protein, low in carbs, zero fat, and I will show you how to make it. Super easy, great way to get protein in. And this is actually gonna be my pre-workout little snack because I'm about to go to the gym and do, I think back day, back with some shoulders, yeah. All right, so the snack is going to be one serving of Danon Greek Light Fit. I love the vanilla flavor, but you can also get plain and it has like half the carbs. So one serving of this is 13 grams of carbs, 18 grams protein, and zero grams of fat. And I believe it's 100, yeah, 130 calories. And then the Formula One, this is a hydrolyzed protein from First Form. Um, I just got this last weekend at the Summer Smash Orange Dream School. I've been wanting them to make this for like two years now. So, so excited for this flavor. Um, and this is pretty low calorie, high protein as well. Um, so one full scoop is 100 calories and 20, oh my God, 21 grams of protein. But I'm actually gonna do half a scoop. So in total, one serving of this and half a serving of this, it's gonna be 180 calories with 28 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs, and zero grams of fat. So this is how I make it. So I'm going to weigh the Greek yogurt. One serving is 225 grams. So I'm just going to keep weighing it until I see 225. Close enough. All right. God, it smells so good. Okay. So this is just like rough estimate. About half a scoop. And then all I will do is just mix it up. And bam, you got a quick and easy high protein snack. It's pretty much like a pudding. It's so amazing. Like devil horns sticking on my forehead. It's like, where the hell did this come from? 
in my bun. Like, how do girls make pretty buns? It just got really dark. Oh my god, it's like the weirdest clip ever. This clip is to pretty, pretty much talk about something that I've noticed is a problem in the fitness community. Or at least in general, because this is like really gonna bother me. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, hey guys, you know, just hold it there. Um, I have a problem with people asking for help and I see it happen with me and I see it happen with other people that people want help with their fitness journey or help losing weight and you know, they ask a professional, even sometimes they don't even ask a professional, they'd rather like go ask somebody that doesn't even know anything. But I'm not saying I know everything at all. Um, I have a lot to learn, but you know, I've educated myself enough. I've gone through it myself. I have clients that have gone through stuff and um, programs and nutrition advice, like complete meal plans, like everything. And it just kind of blows my mind that, you know, people will pick a, a, a coach or ask for help and then they don't even do it and then they think that the person gave them bad advice but everything boils down to putting in the work like if you're hungry you don't just take one bite of food you eat more than one bite of food to satisfy yourself if you want to lose weight you don't just go work out one day and think that you're good and you can get back to where you were 10 years ago because hello 10 years ago was a long time ago and you know a lot can change so if you are expecting to lose weight, you know, just know it takes time. If you're expecting to learn how to change your diet, like it takes time. And I can tell with like certain clients or people that, it, well, for one, when some clients don't reach out to me like they normally do, I know that they're not following the plan. I'd rather know how to help you than to just like ignore me and like not get help because I F up all the time. Like this past weekend of uh, St. Louis and Florida, like, I worked out very minimally. I did not follow a nutrition plan, like anything, but I don't regret it. Like I knew I was making bad choices, but that was a choice. So I'd, I'm learning to like not be upset with myself and not make food consume me, not only like when I'm hungry or like making choices of what I'm eating, but to consume me, making me feel guilty after I eat it. Like you can't make food make you feel bad all the time. And so many people diet like 70% of the year or they make food like this horrible thing and like you need food to survive. It's okay splurging and it's okay making mistakes but the point is to get back on track and follow a routine and do what you're supposed to do because it's like me. Like I got back from Florida a few days ago and I've gone to the gym the last two days. I'm about to start meal prepping. I have sweet potatoes in the oven right now. I bought a rotisserie chicken. I have salmon. Like, I have all the stuff I'm going to cook and bake right now. It's in the process. But I'm not going to use me falling off of a meal plan or a workout routine for one week an excuse to just completely let it all go and go, well, I'm already messing up, so I'm just not going to do anything. Like, no, I've messed up. I know I have. I'm not going to be a victim to food. And so now I'm meal prepping, I'm getting back on track, and that's the point. It's okay to have mistakes and fall off the course. The point is to get back on track, put in the work, be consistent, and be patient. This is the end of this vlog, and I will see you next time. Bye.